Well, back now to the biggest story of the day. The Supreme Court looks to be ready to end the right to an abortion. A draft opinion shows the majority of justices want to strike down the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. Let's bring in Josh Blackman with the South Texas College of Law. Welcome to Houston's Morning Show. So Ray vers Roe v. Wade was established a constitutional right to abortion. What happens if it gets overturned? Well, if this leaked decision is in fact real, um, which I think it is, <clears throat> and if it holds, the states will once again have the power to regulate abortion. Texas, for example, can ban abortion in six weeks, and California can allow abortion until the, the final moment before birth. So the states have full latitude of how to prohibit abortion. So, Josh, there's already <clears throat> been a precedent for this case. In fact, there's been, there's been two, Roe v. Wade and then Planned Parenthood versus Casey. So this ruling would overturn two past decisions. Has that ever happened before? The answer is yes. Um, in the famous case of Brown versus Board of Education, the Supreme Court overruled many cases upholding segregation, uh, Plessy versus Ferguson, uh, among others. Um, but what's significant here is not so much what the court would do, but the fact this was leaked. And I want to caution everyone, there's no guarantee the opinion that was leaked out actually holds. Things can always change. All right. There, I guess the people who are opposing this and are really upset or concerned that women will get hurt um, if they go out and try to do an abortion themselves, who would abortion bans in the U.S. end up affecting the most? Well, I think in many southern states, including Texas, it'll be functionally impossible to get an abortion. They'll be banned at six weeks or, or perhaps even earlier. Um, other states like California and New York will still allow abortion. So at this point, uh, abortion will become a matter of travel. Can you travel to a state or can you obtain uh, various medications to perform it in the state? Uh, but I think within the state of Texas and elsewhere, it'll become very hard to perform one. And the president just releasing a statement saying we do not know whether this draft is genuine or whether it reflects the final decision of the court. But um, this, as you mentioned, would be extremely rare for a leak like this to occur. Do you imagine that it did happen from somebody inside the court? We don't know if it came from a Supreme Court justice, from a law clerk, perhaps one from a staff inside the building with access to the document. We don't know. Uh, but I hope there'll be a full investigation that's transparent and the culprit here is identified and brought to justice. What do you see happening in the coming months? We've already seen people outside protesting and really upset about it. Others are cheering it on. So you've got just a gamut of emotions. What happens as we wait for the court not set to rule on it, what, for a couple of months? Well, usually the court rule at the end of June, but I think now we're in uncharted waters and the, the court may rule today, tomorrow, next week, very soon to get this out of the way. Uh, because the longer this case drags on, the more politicized and, and, and partisan it will get. All right. Again, the, the, the fight seems to move to the states if indeed this draft opinion is accurate. Uh, Josh Blackman from South Texas College of Law, thanks for your time. Thank you so much.